And finally, Jim Gorman and Henry Fountain on the tenacity of the coyote. So Jim, we have a story this week in Science Times about coyotes, right? Yes, coyotes are, of course, these absolutely amazing animals. I mean, they have survived everything. People have hunted them, shot them, trapped them, and their numbers just continue to increase. And they've moved into a lot of different environments, much more over even the past 10 years than they had before. And sometimes there can be a problem, you know, because as they move into our area, uh, they conflict with us. There have even been some attacks on children in, in Westchester near New York City. So why are there so many of these coyotes around? There seem to be more than there used to be. I think there's definitely been an increase in the East and uh, one of the reasons is that uh, over a long historical time, I think, you know, wolves were wiped out in the east, so there's no competition there. And you've got a lot of suburban areas where you have edge environments. I think coyotes are, are really so adaptable that they'll move into any place where they see an opportunity. And there's also a difference between some of the western coyotes, where they're called coyotes, by the way, um, and uh, in the east, where for some reason we call them coyotes. What's, what's the difference? The ones in the east are bigger, and people have noticed that and sometimes have almost confused them, thought maybe wolves were coming back. Well, it turns out there are a couple papers this year that were published, and some scientists used DNA to show that, in fact, eastern coyotes do have some wolf DNA. But coyotes are pretty mysterious. I mean, it's, it's pretty rare that we actually see one. Isn't very it? hard to, to see them. There are very few uh, photos of them, and they're... they're actually remarkably intelligent and remarkably successful.